What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Apologies for the hollowness that you can hear right now. I'm actually in my new home. Patty and I are spending the day here today just kind of cleaning up, putting away stuff, putting on the dishwasher. So whilst we're here for the day, I said that I may as well film a couple of videos because I have a lot of homeware stuff. Obviously the background today is not going to be the background for every video. It's quite boring. It's just my plain wall and I am sitting on lawn furniture because my dining chairs have not arrived yet. I just thought that you guys might want to see what bits and pieces I've picked up recently. The first place that I went to is Home Savers, also known as B&M. It's the exact same store. They have the exact same products. Home Savers are huge. They're nearly everywhere in Ireland now. I just think that they are a great, great shop, like especially for cleaning supplies. They're very affordable. I know like Deals or again in the UK, it's called Poundland is great for things like that. But I just found that Home Savers, you can get everything all in one place. So obviously I'm cleaning the house head to toe. Dust still is settling and it's everywhere. But I picked up this Sif just cleaning product. It's for the bath and my hob. I mean, it's Sif, it's self-explanatory. I think everybody knows how you use it. I picked up two big bottles of Domestos. Don't ask what the difference is. One's pink, one's blue. I don't know, they just, I needed them for the toilets and just general, again, cleaning like bins, etc. Now this I already have used. This is the Sif floor cleaning because my floors were manky, just with like workmen in and out. And again, dust is still settling. So I've been cleaning the floors like a crazy person. And yeah, I just picked this one up. This is the Wild Orchid and it smells amazing. Really like that. Some flash bathroom. I've had this in every single place I've lived. This is like the best bathroom cleaning product and it has Febreze and it freshness. It's just really, really good at getting rid of grime off the shower, especially the shower, because I don't know why it just gets so disgustingly dirty even though you clean it every week. But yeah, this is just really good for cleaning the showers. I think these are the last two cleaning bits. One is the Max Power Antibacterial Fairy Washing Up Liquid. Really good dish cleaner. And then I picked up some Dettol Multi-Purpose Cleaning Wipes. These are biodegradable and they're in the apple fragrance. Again, just for like cleaning down surfaces. Noah's chair, cleaning down the shelves again, etc. They're just really, really great. I picked up these Natural Home Large Cellular cellulose sponges. I have no idea what these are going to be like. I've never used them before. And then the standard minky cloth, which again, I think everybody has used. They're great for just cleaning down the sink, cleaning down surfaces, just a general good cleaning tool. Oh, sorry, I have another cleaning thing. <laughs> a dishmatic. Doesn't everybody and their mother use these? These are brilliant. Obviously just to clean down dishes that are really dirty before you put them in the dishwasher because it'll stop the dishwasher getting clogged or smelling or anything like that. So I just, I really like them. And I find them really handy as well just to clean down sinks too. And then for pots, pans, things like that that you wouldn't be putting in a dishwasher. Or do people put pots and pans into the dishwasher? I've never done that, but maybe, maybe you can, I don't know. So these are the homeware items that we did pick up. The first thing is these mugs. They're just simple black mugs. Patty really likes a black mug. I actually really like the shape of these. I'm very particular about mugs. I don't think that's a weird thing. I think everybody is particular about their mugs. So I don't like having mugs in the house that I don't drink from. They were actually a nice shape. They'd be nice for coffee. Speaking of coffee, I did pick up some Tassimals as well. I've never seen these flavors in store. I've seen them on the website. I've never tried them either. I have the gingerbread latte here. And then I also got the white chocolate coconut latte. Don't know what they're gonna be like. I love coconut to eat it, to drink it, bounty bars, whatever. I love coconuts, so I think I might enjoy these. And then gingerbread, you can't really go wrong with. This is like, I'm particular with mugs that I drink from. Patty's very particular about glassware. And he hated these, but I was like, would you mind if I got them? He was like, I don't really care. I just thought that these would be really nice for like an iced coffee. These were 250. The mugs there were five euro as well. I just really like the shape of them. I feel like they're quite, elegant. They're fluted glasses and they had similar ones as wine glass style, but I wasn't really into the wine glass ones, but I really do like these. I like the feel of them. They're weighted glass as well and they just look pretty. We picked up some jars. I have like a larder pantry. I don't know what you want to call it, so, but it's just a big unit in our kitchen that we're going to be storing food in. So I picked up a lot of these little glassware bits just for pastas, rices, tea bags, different things like that. So I really liked the black 
hardware on it and then it just has that bamboo lid they only had one large one left this was 350 i probably would have gotten three of them and they only had two small ones so i picked up the small ones as well they were 250 were they both 250 no 350 and 250 and then the next two bits i got were a potato masher and this kind of like scoop it's kind of almost like I don't know like a soup ladle but it's not it's obviously every home needs little bits and pieces like that but I really like the little bamboo handles on them the wooden handles I don't like any of my utensils to be all metal because obviously like metal conducts heat and I feel like I've burnt myself many a time off like metal handles then we picked up this little sink caddy I don't like much out on my counter I like kind of like minimalistic countertops so I can kind of access everything. I know that sounds really weird, but I don't know. I thought the little caddy was cute and um, Paddy picked it out. And then I really liked this fruit basket. Again, Paddy and I were like really drawn to it. I love like the black hardware on it. Kind of goes with like the theme that we were going with. That's completely on accident, but I just, the, but they just had a lot of that kind of stuff in. This was four euro. Actually, that little caddy was 350. So I just thought that that'd be really nice for like your fruit again in the larder situation. I don't really like fruit sitting out because I just feel like flies land on it and stuff like that. So I'll be keeping that away. Then we picked up one of these sink strainers. Again, I think these are kind of essential like in every house. Even though you've cleaned all the food off, sometimes it does get stuck in the sink and it can just smell and everything. So this is just to avoid that from happening. And then I picked up some trays. This one was three euro. This is just a baking tray. And then this one was three as well. And this is just, you know, like a flatware just baking tray basically baking dish baking trays they're from russell hobbs they're only three euro that's really really good actually i should mention that the prices are probably all in pounds i didn't actually cop that they're probably just a tiny bit more expensive like this was probably like 350 or something and then the final things we picked up i don't know how i feel about these the both of us were kind of like drawn to them but then we're like mm, are these kind of like the best thing to have they're black cutlery set basically so your spoons your forks and your knife i am gonna get obviously a chrome one or you know the stainless steel but i just we, we did like these and i don't know i just thought that they were kind of quirky but i don't know if they're going to be that nice to eat off i think that these were about 14 15 euro something like that they're 12 pounds they're not like outrageously expensive but i don't know i'll just give them a go i just thought that they were kind of like i said quirky looking but whether they're nice to eat off, that's a whole different story. Okay, guys, that basically wraps up my Home Savers haul. I have a good few more homeware hauls coming up. So I think the next one I'm going to film is an Ikea one. So stay tuned for that. If you guys did enjoy this video or any other homeware videos, do let me know and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out, guys. I'm sorry that I've been so absent from from YouTube it's not going to be like this forever it's just at the moment work is busy renovating the house but we are on the home stretch we've been moving in probably around two weeks time so I'm just kind of putting everything away we're just waiting on our carpets it's the last thing to go in and there was just a bit of a delay with the carpets so it's just one of those things but we will be in so shortly and my filming area everything's going to be all set up so thank you again guys for being really patient with me I cannot wait to like show you around the house when it's fully finished. We still have so much work to do, but we are basically ready to move in now. So that is the best thing ever. I'm just so excited. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, apologies for like the sound, the hollowness or whatever. It's not gonna be a forever thing. It's just for now, but I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Mwah. Love you.